Agoras Bitcoin Mining. Editor's Note. The following is a guide contributed by Tucson Bitcoin on how Agorism, or Agoras, can interact with Bitcoin mining. I provided light proofreading assistance and added a conclusion, uh, otherwise all original content is his. Big thanks to him for the submission. Uh, I know it helped me to think bigger when it comes to the potentialities of hands. Uh, please enjoy. This article is not going to be an in-depth, step-by-step guide, but instead just a primer to get you thinking about the topic of how Agorism can intersect with Bitcoin mining. I am a firm believer that in order to create a voluntary society, we must begin taking steps outside of the current slave society that many reside in. Everything in The Matrix is built around coercion and dominating others through violence. Bitcoin is attractive because it truly is an exit from the system. It is a monetary network that, unlike fiat or any government-issued form of currency, operates on a purely voluntary nature. Despite this, many individuals are finding ways to act as gatekeepers in the form of regulated exchanges, intrusive know-your-customer laws, sophisticated surveillance systems, and social attacks on Bitcoiners. These are incredibly unattractive things to contend with as an individual seeking relief from the clown world. No intrusions by despotic maniacs have any place in our lives and should be rejected despite the fact that rejecting them is less convenient. If you're a part of the Pazania network in any way, it means you most likely value your freedom over convenience to some extent. That predisposition will make you a good candidate for the painful process, which is Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin mining comes into play as a way to truly circumnavigate the entire process of going through gatekeepers. Now you can purchase Satoshis through your electric company, which is significantly better, or even begin generating your own power. Though worth noting, it's not as simple as just plugging a machine into the wall and making money, as there are a ton of pain points in the process. But it can be an incredibly lucrative process. So grab your sluice, chisels, and shitcoin filtration screens. It's time to head to the Pasnia Bitcoin mines. Power generation is undervalued in the war on energy. Individuals who are able to generate their own power will be individuals who prosper. On the other hand, individuals living with, un with unstable and expensive electricity are truly screwed. Wind and solar in their current state are a scam because it hijacks our desire to operate without dependence on the grid, yet dramatically limits our ability to generate and consume power. They can be used for some cases, but to live in our technological world, it just doesn't make sense. It is not a feasible way to generate enough power to really prosper, especially in such an energy-dense field as Bitcoin mining is. It is not feasible to mine on solar. Oftentimes, power sources such as hydro, oil, and gas are located in remote places. People all over the world are tapping, in, uh, tapping into these resources for mining. An individual could theoretically begin tapping, tapping these and build a community around this. Bitcoin mining could be a way to fund the entire infrastructure. This stands in stark contrast to the servile society and their anti-human climate change fear mongers who are constantly shooting themselves in the foot by trying to reduce energy production by 90%. Raising the cost of energy in this manner is a sure way to make individuals more dependent on the system that we loathe and want to exit. Being able to generate your own energy gives you a tremendous amount of freedom and not having to be reliant on utility companies. Energy prices are trending upwards across the board, and being your own energy producer can ensure that this inflationary pressure is not a variable for you. Unused amperage equals untapped profits. Another option is building out from already established infrastructure, such as a business or in your home. There is unused electrical capacity everywhere. That electrical capacity can be leveraged to help offset costs or create off-the-books income for a legitimate business. The biggest obstacle is heat, noise, and space, but all of this can be mitigated. One of the big benefits of doing this is that you have a reliable stream of income in Bitcoin. You can also do this in family members, friends' houses, and by building relationships with businesses in your area. Many business owners will be open-minded to the idea of you renting out some space for you to run your miner, especially if it includes you teaching them how their business can utilize Bitcoin and how they can safely store their wealth from government parasites. Peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin The majority of miners' costs are in fiat. Think power bills, hardware maintenance and upgrades, rents, mortgage on property, etc. This is an opportunity for individuals to be able to acquire Bitcoin directly from those miners in exchange for fiat. The best way to do this is locally through cash transactions uh, or the exchange of goods and services, though it can be done with bank transfers, etc. Local exchange is more beneficial because it eliminates participating in the surveillance apparatus, which is banking. Peer-to-peer -peer hardware sales. There is a massive market for used equipment, and sometimes it makes a lot more sense for the small to medium scale miner to buy used. Having a trusted network of individuals exchanging equipment would be incredibly beneficial because of how untrustworthy this space can be. 
when you buy used equipment, you'll almost never know uh, the conditions that they ran in. It will almost always have a higher failure rate and will not be covered by a warranty. Despite this, some machines are incredibly resilient and you'll be able to scoop them up for far less. Currently, for most minor sales, there is no KYC process from established dealers. A trusted network to exchange is more based on one, supporting individuals in the network, and two, being able to trust that you can know how the equipment was ran. One benefit of buying used is knowing the model's reputation. When you buy new, they have not been stress tested and there is not information floating around them. Also, when you buy new, you might have to deal with stupid things like not knowing which variant of control board uh, you're getting, notorious on the S19. Individuals in the network provide, uh, could provide valuable services, such as refurbishment and repair. Repair is always a major pain point, as repair centers are, all, are slowly being built out and is a highly niche and specialized skill set. This is another place an individual could begin earning some off-the-books income. Infrastructure and valuable skills. There's a ton of infrastructure needed in order to be able to mine. Generators may need mechanics. Insulation will almost definitely need electricians. Individuals with these skill sets and the network could be tapped to provide these skills. Not only are these skills valuable in this capacity, but again can be valuable in a larger capacity for building out citadels. It's not far-fetched to believe that Agora's communities can be built around Bitcoin mining over time. The mining industry is wide open for individuals to begin working in it. Nobody is an expert because things are changing incredibly quickly. If you're able to pick up new skills quickly, there is a ton of room to grow and learn here. Ending up with more Bitcoin from mining. This is the hardest part of it all. Buying a miner is essentially buying a two-year-long position on Bitcoin. After that position is completed and you have made an ROI on the machine infrastructure, everything earned after that is a plus. The reason you want to ROI within two years is because the equipment is quickly devaluing and becoming obsoleted as new machines come onto the market. The current way ASICs are priced makes it incredibly disadvantageous to enter into this market at any meaningful scale without taking on debt. Debt requires dependence on the system we are trying to avoid. Running a few machines in your house is doable. Running a few machines in your business and scaling up over time is doable. Running generators, drilling fossil fuels, or building hydroelectric turbines to not only power your miners, but also power a small community is expensive. When you think of ROI, it needs to be priced in Bitcoin, where this entire process is not worth it. Buying a Bitcoin miner is essentially placing a bet on the price of Bitcoin, and the idea that you'll be able to mine more Bitcoin over the life cycle of your machine. The higher your initial capital expenditure, the more difficult this can be. The economics of Bitcoin mining are incredibly brutal and important to learn before aping into buying machines. ASIC Repair Most ASIC repair centers are backed up, meaning it could take up to six months for board repair. Repair is not incredibly difficult to pick up, but does take some time to learn how to do really well. An individual could provide repair services in exchange for Bitcoin within the network and easily do it from their house or business. This is a valuable service because it will shorten downtime on machines and increase profitability for miners. Unfortunately, there are failure rates on equipment, so the need for repair is unavoidable. New equipment has a warranty, but that could take up to a month for a turnaround. Used equipment will not have a warranty and must be repaired. There are different levels of technicality for repair. Sometimes it's just replacing broken components such as power supplies, fans, or control boards. Sometimes actual board repair is required, which is time-consuming and difficult. This is ultimately one of the biggest pain points in the industry currently. Hosting or co-locations. I'm personally not a big fan of hosting because it adds a lot of counterparty risk to the mix. Hosting provided to individuals in a trusted network could be tremendously beneficial though. The benefit of hosting is for individuals to be able to run machines at a more advantageous electricity price than in their residential home and not have to deal with maintenance. Mining is not available to everyone because these are industrial grade machines that need constant power, produce a lot of noise, and are, and are only profitable at very low power prices. A co-location can be done as well with a similar mindset. These can be done re uh, regionally on a small scale where, where individuals can have 24-7 access to their machines. What is different about this approach is that there isn't necessarily someone else holding custody of your machines or hosting fees. This can be done in industrial warehouses, small commercial buildings, or at someone's house. To conclude, Bitcoin mining for the second realm. Bitcoin mining is not only for big business or the well-connected. These benefits are now available to individuals, businesses, agoras, and to networks like the Paznia Network, making this digital tool of self-liberation that much more comprehensive. To summarize, Bitcoin mining can serve as one, a great way to directly acquire KYC-free sats without the need for third parties, exchanges, etc. Two, a way to get ahead by mining at a business and writing off the costs. Three, 
a way to fund the expansion of the Paznian network, overall infrastructure, and the founding continuance of Agora's communities. And number four, pot uh, potential routes towards financial independence, whether via price increase uh, compared to fiat or second realm work. Uh, for example, electricians are required, mechanics may be needed, ASIC repairs are hard to find, technicians to run the miners, etc. And alongside another second realm endeavor, the building of our own trusted VPN Tor network, hosting locations and technical expertise may already be in place, and so adding this Bitcoin infrastructure would be easier in these regards. Remember, these are still the early days of Bitcoin, and especially so for small-scale mining. Think bigger and keep your eyes open for opportunities. You may just strike digital gold. You just heard Agoras Bitcoin Mining. Uh, to read, watch, or share this article, just visit vanupodcast.com forward slash Agoras Mining.